breakout trading looks like one of the most riskiest trading approach when you don't know exactly how it works but then when you finally know exactly how breakout trading works exactly what to do when you're trading breakout then trust me you are going to love breakout trade so in this particular video i'm going to share with you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can trade breakouts like a pro so personally i trade majorly pullbacks and breakouts either breakout from a range or pullbacks in a trend those are the major ways in which i actually trade and in this particular video so i want to take you through every single thing you need to know on how you can trade breakouts profitably so without taking much of your time hello guys welcome to my channel and welcome to forest trade on this channel i mainly focus on how you and i can make money through crypto forest and stock trading so if you find yourself in these industries and you are looking for the best strategies and the best approaches to actually navigate this market and make money from it then you could consider smashing on that subscribe button also turn on the bell notification and don't forget to join my telegram channel whose link will be down in this video description so with that already said let's get straight on my computer let me share with you every single thing you need to know about how you can trade breakout and also show you a practical approach using trading view so with that already said let's get straight on my computer so hello guys now that I have my computer, I'm going to take you straight and I'll show you every single thing you need to know about trading breakouts. But first, before we get started with the chart itself, illustrating it, there are some things you need to know whenever you are trading breakouts. So for that, let me illustrate it for you using the drawing tool. So when we talk of breakout trading, we are simply looking for a market that is breaking out from a ranging area. So in case you don't understand what to mean by a ranging market, you can go watch my previous video we talked about market structure. That is very important. So for example, let me say you came over to your chart and then you met a market in this manner. Let me say you met a market in this manner here. Where this top side is your area of resistance and then this down is your area of support. So now, as a breakout trader, let me say you met the market moving in this direction. So now, as a breakout trader, when you meet a market moving in this direction, you have nothing to do with this market until the market gets out of either this area of support or this area of resistance that it is. Because as a breakout trader, when you meet a ranging market, you have two thoughts in the market. Your first thought is for the market to break out of, if it's at the support area, your first thought is that let this market break out of the support area and then you get in aggressively or wait for a retest and then you get in. On the other hand, your second thought is that you want the market to get out of this area of resistance. So get out of this area of resistance. So you get in aggressively or you wait for the retest before going in. And now when it comes to the way I personally trade breakout, I don't go with the aggressive entry method. The reason why I don't go with the aggressive entry method is because there is often a high level of fake out in the aggressive entry method. Now let me show you what I mean by the uh, fake out. So if you are someone who have been testing the, um, the act of um breakout trading i believe you possibly you've probably seen a lot of trades whereby you have the market like this you have a market moving in this area and then the market suddenly break out of here and then you as an aggressive trader who lacks patience you quickly get in at this point here keeping your stop loss below here and then you'll take profit at the very top and then you see the market from where it is takes a little dive in and then suddenly fall back in here well this is what most aggressive breakout trader often encounter and with what i want to share with you you are likely not to encounter this again provided that you follow every single rule i'm going to give you in this video because in this particular video we are going with a total different approach of trading breakout which is not getting in aggressively but waiting for the market to break out comes back to retest the previous key level which is the if it's the resistance that it broke out one comes back to retest it before going to your side before you get in because by the time the markets break out of this area and it comes back to retest, it simply means that what this area has been confirmed as a strong zone. So there's it's less likely to break below it, even if it should return back to it. So it's less likely to break below it. Your rule number one is simply rule number one is simply identify a range. So what I mean by identify a range is simply look out for an area whereby the market is fluctuating. It's neither breaking above a high or breaking below a low. So you look out for this particular area in the market. And then the second thing you look out for in the market is simply, secondly, you identify your support and 
resistance areas in the market because your support and resistance areas are what govern a ranging market they decide the higher and then the lower part of the market that will determine which range you trade from which point you trade from and now after this the third principle to abide when trading breakout based on how i trade it is that wait for a break below or above so what i mean by waiting for a break below or above is simply waiting for the market to either break out of the area of, to break uh, below the area of support so that you shut the market or you wait for the market to do what break out of the area of resistance so you can go long on the market now you know this and then the final thing here is that before looking for your entry opportunity i always advise that when trading breakout don't be in a hurry to get into a breakout trade but be patient for the market to give you a good reason to get in and for that after the breakout wait for wait for a retest so if you are someone who doesn't really understand a lot about candlestick patterns one of the best advice i'll give to you when trading breakouts and to even be more safer in a breakout trade is simply once the market break out from a key level always wait for a retest on that key level again before you get in this will actually help you get a more better trade that will give you more confidence because the market has either broken a support area and now when it comes back to retest it will turn into a resistance or it has broken an area of resistance so when it comes back to retest it turns into an area of support which means that the area becomes more stronger than before so that gives you a better trading chance so now this is simply all you sim all you simply have to know about trading ranges the first one is simply identify a range secondly mark your support and resistance area and then thirdly wait for a breakout a break above or below and then finally wait for the retest before you get in so now let's get into the main chart itself let me show you a typical example of how this works so now let's take a look at this market here this australian dollar versus um canadian dollar so if you look at this market right now we can clearly see that what the market is moving to the upside the market is moving to the upside one this is what a clear trader um this is what most traders will see that the market is moving to the upside but here is one thing a lot of traders will fail to understand is the fact that what the market is sitting at an area of resistance here here's an area of resistance the market is sitting so you see so this one thing a lot of people will actually fail when it comes to trading so this is the reason why whenever i'm trading i go over to the daily time frame to go start my analytics the reason is that it gives me a bigger picture of the whole market movement rather than relying on what the one hour and then the few minutes are actually showing me so now this is the first thing you need to know is simply when you want to trade breakout i always advise you go down to the lower time frame to go see what the market the higher time frame to see the overall market movement before deciding on what to do so now that i've seen this one on the daily time frame now the thing i'll simply do from the daily time frame is simply identify my area of support and resistance in the market so note looking at this market right now we don't have a clear range yet but since we're on the daily time frame we still have to mark our key levels so for that i'm going to mark this area here here's my area of resistance and then this yellow line i'll move it above here just in case to look for a different trading range so i have this area of resistance and then looking at this market right now i have this um trend line also moving to the upside and at the same time i can say i have um an area of supply uh, of uh, an area of demand here and then i also have so in case you don't know these uh, key levels i'm drawing in the market you can go watch my other videos that will be tagged in this video description that shows you on how to identify key levels in the market and then here also i'll say i have a support within this area here the reason i'll consider this as a support is simply because we are on the daily time frame and on the daily time frame there are a lot of things a lot of movement within these single candles you are seeing here so that makes this place a good area to actually look at for a support so now, now we have this picture of the market we know that what the market was a downtrend and then now the market decided to change direction to an upside trend and but then looking at the uptrend is currently sitting at a key level so we have to go over to a lower time frame to go get a better understanding of the market so for that i'll go over to the four hour time frame so now on the four hour time frame 
we can clearly see that what the market is clearly ranging within this area you can see what the market is doing the market is just ranging and fluctuating within this area but one thing we can notice here is that on the four hour time frame is that the market is having this thing we call price build up around here so you can see so you can see this area now within this area we've identified what to call a range if you look at it carefully you can see that what after the market made this um serious movement to this resistance area the market has failed to break below so what we see here is that the market is fluctuating within this area here and since it's on the four hour time frame and we are day traders we can see that there's a trade opportunity here that we can pro probably grab and remember what i told you about the rules you identify a range and then identify an area of support and resistance so for that let me go back to the one hour to make it clearer for you so now look at this market on the one hour time frame now what do you see what you can see here on the one hour is simply that we have an area of resistance at this place here and then an area of support so since we have this what do we have next we have our range in here remember what i always tell you your the ranging market is always in between a support and resistance area and here this yellow line here becomes your area of support and then this white one at the top here is your area of resistance so now as a range trader what we are waiting for here let me just make this one a bit bolder so what we are waiting for here as range traders is simply waiting for this market to break out of here break out of here comes back to retest and then we short it which will obey the pre the previous market movement which was a downtrend that the market was moving before it actually reversed to the upside or we can also wait for this market to get out of here comes back to retest here and then we get in so there are two possibilities in this market now so since we have two possibilities in the market we are not going to get in at where the market is right now but we are going to patiently wait until the market break out and it creates these structures we are looking for so now let me go back to the daily time frame and then reset everything and then come back here remember the rule identify a range mark your support and resistance wait for a break below or above and then wait for a retest now on the daily time frame we can clearly see that we have key area of value within this area here we have our major supports i mean major resistance at the top here we have our support here and then we have under minor support here and now on the four hour time frame we can see the market fluctuating around this area which becomes more visible on the hourly time frame which becomes more visible on the hourly time frame so now what we are waiting for is that we are now waiting for the breakout so that we can get into the trade simply because we've identified our area of support we've identified our area of resistance as i already said here is your area of resistance which is this top here and then here is your area of support in case you don't understand support and resistance i have a video that will teach you every single thing you need to know about support and resistance and will be tagged under this video description itself so now let's see what the market does from here let me just lower the speed and let's see okay here you can see on the one hour time frame we've gotten this breakout from this area here so now that we've gotten the breakout now there are some sort of um breakout traders i i call them the aggressive traders they are those who can get into the market at the close of this candle with their stop loss here and then aim like this but then as a beginner who doesn't understand much about candlestick patterns our advice you patiently wait for the market to come back to retest before getting in the reason for that is that you don't understand candlestick pattern but then that aggressive trader might understand candlestick pattern like personally for me i understand this candlestick pattern that has been created here because we have four consecutive bearish candles so this one alone shows that there's a high momentum for the bears in the market which means that i can get in but for this video's sake i'm not going to get in but i'm going to show you the right thing to do which is waiting for the market to give it the pullback and then the retest so you can get in with it so for that we are going to use a 15 minute time frame to wait for it so now let's see what the market does here it's still pushing downwards pushing downwards and you can see now that the market has given us this long week rejection we've gotten this long week rejection on the 15 minutes one thing i'll do is i'll go back to the one hour time frame because i like entering the market to the one hour movement rather than the 15 minute 
so on this one hour time frame now what we are looking for here is i want this market to give us a pullback back to this area again so now the reason i want this market to pull back here is simply because if you look at this rejection here you can see that the market is also trying to reject up this area with this uh, long week here with this week below here so in case you don't understand much about all these candlestick patterns you can go research more about candlestick patterns which should give you a better understanding so now from here now i'm still not going to get in until i get a close of this candle this current candle here until this candle closes let me use a better arrow until this candle closes on the one hour time frame this particular candle here until it closes on the one hour time frame i'm not going to get in so the only time you're allowed to get in after this pullback and rejection is if this candle closes bearish successfully but if it doesn't you don't have to get in yet until the market pulls back to that area again so now let's see what happens from here so from here what can you see you can see that the market just pulled back to this area again so now now once the market has given you this pullback on the one hour time frame now here is how to look for the for your entry opportunity for that go back to the 15 minutes now on the 15 minutes here is where you need to look for your entry opportunity you see this point here this is where you look for your entry opportunity below this place here so once the market closes below this point here you can safely get in into the trade on the 15 minute time frame so for that what i'm simply going to do is that i'm going to set a limit order just below this point here my limit order will be below here with my stop loss position really over here so this is a 15 minute time frame so don't think it's any big thing over here and then i'll go back to the one hour time frame and then reset the chart and then set my take profit and my take profit So my take profit here will just be maintained around this point here. So I just extend my stop loss a little bit. So now here's one thing you can do. If you notice where you are entering the market will require you to use a bigger stop loss position. The thing you can actually do is that you can simply lower the lot size you use. The main most important thing is that it's being able to stay in the market and still get some profit out of it don't always focus on using smaller stop loss position to make huge profit if you see that the trade plays according to your setup but then your entry position is a bit too far which require to use a better stop loss position i will still advise you to go in for it but then use a lower stop a lower lot size which means that you you might earn a little lesser than the, you, the amount you normally make but at the same time it will keep you for the market even if the market go in hunt of your stop loss position so keep that in mind so for me, I would rather go with a, low to, a lower stop loss position and keep a. For me, I'll go with a lower lot size and I keep a decent stop loss position. In case you don't know how to set stop loss, you can actually go watch my other video that I'll be tagged in the description. That video will show you every single thing you need to know about setting your stop loss in the market. So from here now, we can simply wait for the market to actually play to our entry. Let's see what happens. Okay, so our trade is not triggered. Okay let's see so let's look at where the market gave us the reversal you can see this was a point whereby the market gave us a reversal and from where we got a reversal it's a decent position to actually take a to take um profit so if you meet this market at this point here there's no reason for you to not take profit from this point point. and if you're in my telegram channel everything i share here is the same thing i do with the telegram channel you see that will be in a trade and then you get to a point where i'll just tell you okay you can close profit right now since we are in decent profit and these are the areas the reason why this area the market bounce off from this area is simply because if you look up to your left hand side you have this area in the market here on your left hand side which was an area of support over here so there's a high probability that once the market gets here it might choose to reverse so from here now it's a good point for you to get out of the market based on how i trade since i've also gotten a decent one is to two already but let's play and see how far the market goes after bouncing off. So let me just take it to 10 S speed and see how far the market goes. You can see the market was just fluctuating, fluctuating. But then it still fell back below here again. So in simple context of how to trade um, 
breakout i'm actually sharing the like the simplest and then the most easiest way to trade breakout with you is simply following the rules i've shared with you over here let me go over to the higher time frame It's simply following this rule here identify a range mark your support and resistance wait for a break below or above and then wait for the retest from the point of retest you look out for the lower the nearest uh swing glue that the market created just keep your limit order below it and once the market get there you can get in immediately and that is simply all so with this already said hope you find this video helpful and don't forget to smash that subscribe button like this video enter more if you down in the comment section trust me Breakout trading are really profitable once you follow the right rules to actually trade it.